of investigation says it will soon begin testing 3,000 rape kits. Good evening, I'm Calvin Snead. And I'm Latricia Thomas. A report conducted by the GBI found that those kits have gone untested by law enforcement agencies statewide. News Channel Line's James Torres tells us about a new law that led to this discovery. James. Latricia Calvin, a law that went into effect in July requires agencies in Georgia to report all of their rape kits to the GBI's crime lab by August 1st. That's so the GBI knows exactly how many kits to expect to test. After the August deadline passed, the GBI says they will be testing testing much more than reported. Dalton Police Captain Chris Crossan says the evidence gathered in a rape kit can be important to their investigation. DNA evidence has become expected in a case like that and certainly is a huge uh, development in law enforcement in the last, you know, it's 20 years, 25 years. That's that's kind of a big development that's come apart. In just the last few months, a Georgia law took effect, giving police departments deadlines to submit rape kits to crime labs. Spokeswoman for the Georgia Bureau of Investigation says this will prioritize rape kit testing for local law enforcement agencies. Now that there is a process that's in place, we should have we should be in a better position as a state to to better handle this. The law states that if a hospital or medical center collects a rape kit, they are required to notify law enforcement within 96 hours. Then law enforcement will have 30 days to investigate the case and send it to the GBI's crime lab center. That's even if investigators test it themselves and don't find any helpful evidence. Captain Crossan says that's different than in the past. Probably the biggest change is now if an investigation after the kit's been collected before it's sent to the crime lab, if the investigation is found to be unfounded or um, there are reasons where there would be no evidentiary value to the kit, the kit is sent to the crime lab anyway. In fact, Dalton has 11 untested kits that fall into that category. Those will be now sent to the GBI for further testing, but the state says those are just a few of the 3,000 that will be tested and the reasons they are waiting for examination is still Still unclear. The investigation may be at a point where there are no further leads, and so that could have caused a delay in getting a kit to to the GBI crime lab for testing. The GBI says they aren't exactly sure which areas all of those 3,000 tested untested kits came from. Calvin. Thanks, James. According to Georgia law, there is no defined consequence to the agencies if they do not submit the kits on time. The law also says failure to comply will not affect the admissibility of the evidence collected. Chad